if whites are mixed with canine genetics, does this mean they need to eat meat to be healthy? Also, what makes blood or the killing of animals inferior to the killing of plants? Because you're mixed doesn't mean that you have to eat meat and be, um, have been taking blood. Um, but however, like health, this is what I'm saying, like there's so much research and so much information, the health benefits of not eating meat. So it doesn't matter who you are, like, because if you start to look at how meats are actually brought onto the market today, mm. they put a lot of... Um, Steroids. Yeah, a lot, a lot of things in the meat. And the, the meat ends up producing a lot of uric acid in the body. Um, that uric acid can um, cause arthritis and all kinds of ailments. Um, your body is not designed to digest mm. meat. We didn't originally have canine teeth. Mm -hmm. If you look at you know the way your digestive system works, it's not really designed for eating meat. So the health benefits for not eating flesh in general are so much much better. Um, but yeah, in terms of what was the second part? I don't remember the question. Killing plants. Oh yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that's a good question. However, you're from the earth and you're naturally um, vegetarian by nature or, or vegan to be more precise. Um, and it does say plants are for food in mm. the Bible. So you've got to eat something. And I think like the point is that, yeah, I, take, I mean, it's kind of a good question. Now, what would you rather do? Kill an animal or... Take an apple from a tree, which ones, and, and feed yourself, give yourself nutrition, which one mm. is more, which one works better? You've actually triggered a question, a uh, part of the answer, okay. because, um, yeah, you have to know that an apple, for example, its ultimate goal is mm. to get to a point where its purpose mm. is to provide you with nutrition. Mm -hmm. So if it's eaten at its optimal level, then it's fulfilled its destiny because yeah. that's what it was designed yeah. for as, as opposed to leaving it to rot and fall mm. on the ground which is not what it was yeah. designed for so what you just said they reminded me that yes it's its purpose is to actually give you nourishment and nutrition mm. like other plants so yeah that's the actual job whereas an animal it's got its own life and purpose yeah. and then you're there spilling its blood <laughs> to eat when that's not what it was designed for so i guess i'm screwed I'm a white woman. You're not a white mm. woman, actually. There's no such thing as a white person <laughs> or a black person. Um, you know, look at the colours white and see what, what you look like. Um, saying that to say, and what do you, what you mean by screwed as well? Mm. Um, yeah, we, we, we forget that it's all about your DNA, not about your colour of your skin. And this is one of the things that you know, people, and I don't understand what you mean by screwed because mm. we have mentioned many times that Wu Sabat is for everyone. Um, and it's up to you how much you elevate. And the Bible does that where it makes people feel like, well, I'm, I'm guilty, I've already done it, mm. so um, there's no hope <laughs> for me. So let me just continue to, you know, go down that path. And that's wrong because you can always decide to start making changes. Mm, change your diet. Yeah. yeah. Change tomorrow, mm. change today. Yeah. So you're not screwed. Mm. <laughs> Can a white person be a New Orbean? Let's say they were black in past lives, but are now incarnated as a white person. Again, it kind of touches on the same. <laughs> like, um, yeah, anybody can be a New Orbean. Um, but even that, they were black in past lives. Mm. I mean, like, how do you know this? Yeah. <laughs> How can you prove that? Um, but yeah, it's about your DNA. It's about the DNA. It's not about the colour of your skin. Uh, Nawap was universal knowledge. 